What's up, Maxis? Welcome to Crypto Maximalist. Today we're taking a look at Polygon and its recent price action, and make sure to watch the video till the end for a price prediction for the short and the long term as well. We would really appreciate if you would like and subscribe so you don't miss any videos and turn on bell notifications as well. We're posting 4 videos per day so come back every day for daily updates and analysis. And make sure to comment down below for your chance to win a hardware wallet in our new monthly giveaway. Make sure to like, subscribe and comment to be eligible. It seems as though YouTube is currently suppressing crypto content so make sure to come back and check every day for daily updates as notifications aren't currently being sent out. You can also sign up to our free telegram via the description as well. Before we begin we'd just like to say thank you so much to all of you for your support, you're all amazing. This is not financial advice, welcome to Crypto Maximalist, let's begin. So as we can see this is something that we've basically noticed on Polygon happening in the last few days but it seems as a bit more confirmed now as we can see. It does look as they were forming somewhat of a massive falling wedge as we can see. It may even extend this far with this big fake out to the downside. Obviously the volatility has been ridiculous recently. But as you can see it does look as though we are kind of falling in a wedge right now. And typically this is actually a bullish indicator. <clears throat> and it's probably most likely going to break to the upside. And as we always say with falling wedges if you break to the upside then the target is always where you form the wedge which could either either be this 230 area or even this all-time high of 270 if you include this large downwards movement here as part of the volatility as you can see we've actually been falling and falling uh, with polygon recently basically with the volume decreasing as well it does, did look as they were, were potentially forming somewhat of a uh, of a bull flag something let me just draw a proper line something out of a bull flag something like this but obviously as you can see we broke to the downside and since then we have just been slowly slipping downwards but we're not too concerned about polygon right now we do think that most uh, altcoins have been losing some of their value against usd because bitcoin's been pumping and taking the vast majority of the uh, the vast majority of the attention away from most investors it seems as though most altcoins are slowly slipping downwards in value um Although most of them are heading upwards in an upward trajectory. And if you look at the trajectory of Polygon in the past few weeks, as you can see, we're obviously still making higher lows. So as long as we're making higher lows, then nothing re else really matters. It does look as though um, Polygon is starting to lose momentum to the downside as well. As you can see, when Bitcoin went dropped down to 31k again, we did see this large sell off for Polygon, but it did come back down, come back up, tried to bounce and retested these areas at around 150, but it got rejected. And as you can see, we did roll over and now we are sort of trading in and around these levels at around 135 to 140 in this area here. Where essentially the prices are just bouncing around. It, I do think we'll probably see a double bottom here because this, this resistance at um, 125 in our opinion is pretty strong. And obviously the further the price action goes down as well for Polygon, the more chance of something like this happening again. Where there's a huge amount of demand for Polygon and a big spike in price. And as we said, we do think if this breaks to the upside, then we're going to start seeing Polygon move up very, very fast. Because as we said, the price target for a descending wedge when you break out of it to the upside is basically um, basically where you formed it, which could either be, as we said, this 235 area or this 270 all-time high area. We are very bullish on Polygon, and we do think this is going to be a great, great project in the future, obviously. Huge amount of bullish news coming out, loads of projects launching on their ecosystem. I do think that this is just some healthy correction in the market after such a huge run up like this we are just selling off slowly waiting for something to happen in the wider market but we do think that bitcoin looks like it looks as though it may be breaking to the upside very soon it does seem as though the bulls have come back into play and uh, if we can head to 40k and beyond for bitcoin in the next few weeks we do think polygon is going to have a very very nice pump as well as a result um a lot of people have been complaining recently that they bought polygon maybe at like this two dollar level or 230 or even somewhere up here and we would invite, advise you to remember that cryptocurrency is quite often not a short-term short-term play. This is not financial advice, of course, but it's quite clear that in the market, the people that make the most money are the people that just buy and hold quality projects for the long term, rather than trying to basically get in and out of projects that are pumping. As we would always say, we'd never advise anyone to buy a project that has pumped up as much as this. In our opinion, it would be a little bit foolish to buy a project that has essentially pumped let me see how much this actually went up. 
I mean, this project is essentially up over 200% in four days. So the fact that most people would consider buying at these kinds of levels, unless if they were just holding for the short term, is probably not a very good idea because obviously you basically open yourself up to massive downside as we've seen here. Over the long term, you'll probably do much better because we do think by the end of the year, Polygon's going to be at least $10. So you will definitely be up quite a nice amount. But obviously it's very, very difficult to know in cryptocurrency what's going to happen and in the short term because it's so volatile so it's always important to remember to don't buy the tops you want to be buying dips this is what people do and they always have good success with it most likely in the long term so if you're buying quality projects for the long term and you're buying the dips not the peaks you're probably going to do very well as we've been saying our short term price prediction we can easily imagine that uh, we've been under this resistance as you can see for quite some time here and it seems as though it's continuing down downwards but we are going to reach a critical point where we're going to have to decide which direction we're going and considering how bullish polygon has been recently we do think there's probably going to be potential for a bounce soon if we can break out of this and head back above this 150 level which we do think is likely if bitcoin's going to have a pump retest it as support and then start moving up like this we are going to be very very bullish on polygon in the short term as well we do think it'll probably have a very very nice pump and as we said long-term price prediction we do think at least ten dollars by the end of the bull run is realistic for polygon which is only a six or a seven x from the current price and as we said we do think Polygon 15 to $20 is more realistic with the parabolic move at the end of the bull run that always happens as well. So that would be around a 6 or a 7x from this all-time high here as well. Or basically around a 10, 15x from the current price, which we think is very achievable considering the demand for Polygon. The market cap for it is still very small, so there's a good amount of potential. <clears throat> good amount of potential for it to be running as well. So very bullish on Polygon overall. <clears throat> So that's our update on Polygon today, guys. We'd like to thank everyone for watching. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please let us know down in the comments section below. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you can keep up to date with all of our videos. Remember to comment down below and be subscribed to enter into our brand new monthly giveaway for a hardware wallet. If you'd like to support the channel more directly, please sign up to our Patreon via the link in the description below, or sign up to YouTube membership by hitting the join button right next to the sub below this video, where you can get access to our private Discord, we're offering coin calls, one-to-one -one access to us personally, insight into our personal portfolio, daily research of crypto assets with massive potential, and access to our brand new 100x portfolio. With so many benefits, you might as well check it out below. Don't forget to get two free stocks with Weeble by signing up and then depositing $100 using our link in the description below. You can quite literally deposit the $100, get your two free stocks and then withdraw the money. So there's no reason not to do that, and they could be valued all the way up to $1,600 each, but don't forget to actually deposit as well after signing up, otherwise you won't receive the second stock. Scammers get worse every day, so make sure to protect yourself and your crypto online with Pure VPN. Sign up below for some big discounts. You can get access to block content and protect yourself from phishing scams with super low monthly payments and high quality speeds. You can also sign up to our free Telegram via the description as well. All the links are in the description for affiliate links for discounts and free crypto, so go check them all out below. There's plenty of goodness on offer. Please like and subscribe. We are Crypto Maximalists.